How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Ben Jennings. I'm a physical therapist at NovaCare Rehabilitation in Allison Park, PA. Um, with Nate Trezak, we're uh, just starting out on our journey through an ACL tear and a meniscus tear. Um, so Nate had a, uh, an injury on May 20th where he was in a uh, situation where he was playing basketball and jumped up and got twisted in the air and came down, hyperextended his right knee. Um, prior to that, he had a little bit of a sprain of that ligament. Um, but what we talked about uh, on his initial evaluation was classifying him into a contact or a non-contact um, scheme to uh, think about how we're going to treat this thing appropriately. So today is our second visit. We just did an initial evaluation yesterday. Um, the goal setting is all the way out to December, January, and February. And I think that that is one of the most important things to talk about when it comes to sports rehab and sports physical therapy is what is the end goal and what do we need to do today to prepare for the next phase with the end goal in mind. So a history on Nate a little bit, I'm sure you've heard this from him, but he had an Achilles tendon uh, repair three years ago that was rehab to the point where he was super functional, but not as uh, functionally capable from a high level athletic standpoint as he wanted to be. So at this point, um, we're gonna be doing some crossover PT between his right knee and his left Achilles. So that's the other point, uh, point of uh, when we talk about sports physical therapy that I think is a really important thing to talk about is we're not just rehabilitating and fixing a, 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 a one joint that was repaired or uh, one area of the body that we're focusing on. We have to look at the whole person. And if we're getting to a point with the, the knee rehab that we're starting to do some weight bearing, which he's not yet, um, and some more, and this is in the future, but more athletic type of movements, and we haven't done anything to look at the left leg and try to keep it where it needs to be or get it to a point where it needs to be, we're gonna have to do just as much work then as we can do right now. So over the next four weeks, because the surgery was two weeks ago, Nate is going to be continuing to be non-weight bearing. Um, that is because of the meniscus repair itself. Normal ACL surgeries allow you to be weight bearing directly after the surgery um, in a straight leg locking brace, of course, because the quad isn't firing very well. Um, but there's specific protocols that call for six weeks of non-weight bearing after a meniscus repair because of the risk of actually the, um, the sutures coming, coming loose and, and the repair failing. So the question comes to, well, what do we do for six weeks um, if we can't do any weight bearing? You know, obviously there's some things from a mechanical standpoint that we can work on, the knee flexion, which he's restricted to 90 degrees right now, which he came into my clinic yesterday already easily getting to 90 degrees of flexion. Um, we have to work on a little bit of extension because he's not quite at zero degrees, but at, at the end of the day, it's really, really good. His quad is firing very well. Um, so we look at those three things and we say, okay, now, now what? You know, what are we going to do for the next six weeks? Well, today, or the next four weeks, so today what we did is we looked at the left leg and we kind of evaluated the Achilles to be less than perfect. And I think what and I'm going to mark today is the 25th of July. He was able to do 11 heel raises. It was awesome. He was killing himself. Uh, but a lot of times whenever we're, we're not um, focusing on other areas, um, we tend to have to take time, like I said, at the end, uh, or I'm sorry, in the middle of our rehab process when we get clearance to do more stuff with the surgical leg and work on all these other problems. So for the next four weeks, we're going to be working on um, calf strengthening, uh, left leg balance, um, left leg um, single leg activities, which is gonna work on his neuromuscular system, his proprioception, his ability to know where he's at in space essentially better on his left leg than he was before. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing to talk about, especially, well, even um, more so than um, working on range of motion, quad control, um, and the basic things when we think about what PT is after a surgery. So the other, the only other thing that I think we're going to work on is a lot of core stability and a lot of core strength. So cool. it'll be a good process. I think we're starting out at a really good point. Um, I think in the video before this, Nate, Nate talked a lot about with his other therapist, a lot of prehab or pre-physical therapy. It was awesome. So my man came in here ready to go uh, two weeks after surgery, better than a lot of uh, other surgical patients that I've had post ACL. There was no range of motion restrictions. The squad's doing very well. So I'm a huge proponent of pre-surgical physical therapy. It really does a lot of um, good prep work and getting you ready to go um, after surgery. 
Awesome. Thank you. Yeah.